Happy Thursday! The weekend starts here for me and Jess, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of. I mean, well, you are <laughs> well, working tomorrow, but you're working from home. We've yeah. just got to Leicester. It's Thursday evening and it's really nice and cool now, but we're on a bit of a road trip this weekend. We're in Leicester today and tomorrow. Oh, there's Rakesh. <laughs> we're just meeting him for dinner. <laughs> then we're going to Leeds and Manchester, but we've just come to this um, Turkish restaurant we've been to before called FS Mangle. We're going to meet him for dinner and... Yeah, then go yeah. see my grandparents. It's all very exciting. <laughs> We've been sat in that restaurant for so long that they've closed a very long time ago. <laughs> and like all the staff were there with their like handbags, like ready to leave. <laughs> cleaners were out and they were just waiting for us to pay and we just didn't realise. Um, yeah, it was well, a really good meal though, wasn't it? Yeah, actually quite nice. Hi yeah, Rex. Good meal. Hi. Oh, we met Rakesh for dinner, did I say earlier? Hi. Did you guys enjoy the food? Oh, it was nice. Oh, yeah, good it was portion. brilliant, yeah. Really what they give you, yeah. We're going to go home now. It's like 11 p.m. I need to go see my grandparents. I have a feeling they're waiting up for us, which yeah. is really bad. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday. Look at how tired I look. I hope you can hear me over the sound of the fan. I couldn't get to sleep last night at all. Um, I think it was about 3.30 in the morning by the time I went to bed because this house is like an actual sauna. My grandparents were telling me that they haven't slept very well recently because of this heat wave that we're having. I just thought, you know what, I'll leave the windows open. I'll put the fan on. It can't be that bad. It's bad. This house is so, so warm. I just don't know how, like, I just, I, I just don't know. Um, I'm so tired, I totally overslept. But I've got a very exciting day today. I'm off for a haircut in about 20 minutes. I had my haircut in Leicester about six months ago, or maybe nine months ago. And I don't often get my haircut. I hate the whole experience, I hate hairdressers. But this lady did a really good job, and it was really cheap. So I just thought, you know what, I'm doing it again. It's gonna be a trim, hopefully nothing too drastic that will make me look different in any way, shape, or form. And then then I'm off to go and meet my friend Priya, which I'm so excited about. I've been friends with her for about 10 years or so, or maybe more. God, I think maybe more than 10 years. I think I met her 10 years ago, and eight years ago she left the UK, um, and she's just moved back. And I haven't seen her for eight years, so I'm very, very excited about this. And she's just moved to Leicester, so I'm going to go meet her for lunch, which is super exciting. Yeah, she left just before I got married, so about eight years seven eight years ago oh my god like I, i'm just so excited i really can't wait to see her so that's going to be so much fun but first up i need to go and just do something to this and go and have breakfast go chill with my grandparents and head out for my haircut <laughs> yeah. i've just had my haircut i had a trim and i had it thinned out i haven't really looked at it i didn't get it dried so i'm gonna go home and style it myself and then i'm off to meet my friend priya a bit later on this afternoon for lunch but right now i need to blast this aircon and get home because i am sweating like a bitch <laughs> i'm back for my haircut it doesn't look any different it was literally just a trim um i got it thinned out a little bit because it honestly feels like an electric blanket in this heat i'm currently sat in front of the fan again i'm absolutely melting like there's just no wind outside it is so so humid i went for my haircut i went to a couple of supermarkets trying to find some vulvic because as you guys know that's all i drink and then i eventually found some in sainsbury's i had breakfast with my grandparents earlier which was really nice and now i'm just sort of fixing my face and i've got about an hour hour and a half at home i need to fix this hair actually i didn't get it styled because i don't like the way other people style it she did put a bit of serum and stuff in it but it's still quite frizzy and nothing really works for my hair apart from this so i'm just going to put some product in it myself i've just had to wet it again because it is that hot that i left the salon 40 minutes ago went to two supermarkets i've come home and it was bone dry my hair normally takes about six hours to dry in the winter so you can imagine how hot it is it's probably about 30 degrees i'd say so i thought i'd do my hair now that i can just put it up into like a pineapple on top of my head go downstairs do some work and then go out i don't think i'm going to bother with much makeup today though just because it's not going to stay on i've got my base on i don't have any eye makeup on i might just stick a bit of mascara on and hope for the best I've just had a lovely lunch with Priya. I'm sat in her garden for ages, completely melting and tanning in this heat, but she's just gearing herself up to potentially come on camera. <laughs> 
just topping up the lipstick. <laughs> you don't have to be on camera if you don't want to. <laughs> it's been such a nice catch up. I literally can't believe it's been eight years. Say hi. 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 It's so nice to see and you. And you too. Um, Lovely afternoon. It's been so much fun. We had a really nice um, like brunch even though it's kind of lunch, late lunch. Uh, where, where did we go, Jones? Jones, yeah. Jones, it was really good. We had the veggie breakfast, it was a lot of fun. But now I'm about to leave her, hopefully not for too long. Not for another eight years anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely and, not. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and go to my parents for dinner. I had such a nice afternoon with Priya. We went out for a really nice like lunch, but they did all day breakfast. So we both had the veggie and the vegan breakfast, which was lovely. We went to a place called Jones, and we had a Prosecco with lunch. So we just sat in her garden drinking loads of water, and it was really, really hot and sunny. I'm pretty sure I've tanned after today, but it was just so nice to see her and catch up after eight years. I literally cannot believe we've been married for eight years, Jess. Wow, eight she, years ago you swore her. She left the UK eight years ago, right before I got married. She came to my hen night, and I think not long after that she left. And so I just haven't seen her. Like I did bump into her once. We were both in the same pub when she came back. But I just haven't seen her properly. So it was really, really nice to catch up. And she's here till January, so that's really cool. We're definitely going to see each other again, um, hopefully either in Leicester or London. But now, Jas and I have just been to Asda to pick up a few bits for dinner. We're going to my parents. We're going to have something to eat. He's going to watch the football. And I got some pink gin. I've been looking all over the place for it. If you saw my birthday vlog, you'd have seen that me and my friends all got some in like a little Tesco Express. And ever since then, we all really liked it. So me and my aunt went looking for it last week. I've looked at every single supermarket I've been in. And it's just been out of stock. So we managed to find the multi-pack of like 10 cans and so we bought two of them because we just thought you know what we might as well we'll take some back to London with us we'll take some to Leeds with us tomorrow but now we're gonna go have some dinner at my parents yep happy Friday no not it's not Friday it's Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> we left Leicester like a couple of hours ago about an hour and a half ago we're on our way to Leeds we've just stopped off at the services for a coffee we're actually gonna be at the event on time today yeah but we've just stopped for a coffee because that's something new five isn't it minutes early I know first time for everything this service station only has a costa though, so it's going to have to do, but yeah, we've arrived in Leeds! <laughs> this is so exciting, this is my first travel vlogger event! Are you excited? Oh no, yeah. it's not my first one actually! I've been to one before, but that wasn't um, that great. Thank you. Here. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, it's Cheers. It's uh, fantastic to see you all here today. Really pleased to uh, uh, see some of the new faces at Pub the Beach. That, as Dan said, this is our sixth event. The demand for Turkey doubled since last year. So, please have a, a, a hit over recent years, but it's absolutely on its way back on. Um, seeing search demand through the roof um, for Turkey itself. Why is that? Price is certainly driving that, so uh, couples, families looking for value. Uh, what we're seeing is a five-star holiday for a three-star holiday price in Spain. So that's really what's driving that demand. I expect that to, again, be uh, probably uh, double again into 2019. So, say if there had been an arm, arms race to the centre of Leeds that I just walked past on my way here, I would go, Hi everyone, I'm a multi-award winning blogger and blogger and I'm about to walk through the city centre and I was here for icelandic.com who sell holidays. I saw an old raid and so many people do it in that way when you're writing. And actually, in journalism and in news and press, we want the top line. We saw an old raid in Leeds City Centre. So just imagine the best way to do that is imagine what you tell your friend first about the story. So a little break, you'll never guess who I win! <laughs> After four years of talking online, we <laughs> finally met each other! Yeah, I know, I'm so excited! I know, it's like a real life internet friend. I know, it's really <laughs> <laughs> Who thought 
Look, about 10 years ago, yeah. you'd never do that. I know, yeah, well, then, uh, people would like tell you off <laughs> for talking to people yeah. online. Meeting strangers. That's right, yeah. Oh, I didn't realise how tall she is as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you were heels up, just wearing my hood. Oh, my God. Oh, you're actually not taller than me. She's making me look small. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to have to tiptoe. I'm a bit vertically challenged anyway, but I thought you'd be like quite high. You know what? I'm going to have to tiptoe next to you now. Seriously, you're making me look a bit tall, yes. On the way to Leicester, I saw an Instagram story for coming to Leeds, and Harry messaged me, and she was like, what, you're coming to Leeds? So I was like, yes. And then she just came to this event just to meet me, which I think is so, so nice of her. She wasn't coming to this event originally, but only because I'm here, and we keep missing each other every time she's in London, every time I'm in Leicester. It just never happened. So we finally met up after four years, and yeah, the event's going really well. It's been a real fun day, and the talks are really, really interesting. I've already learned loads. I'm so excited for the vegan hot dog. They just had like a two and a half hour break, I think, just because the England match were on and England just won. So now I think we're going to carry on with the rest of the event, right? Yep. Trust you didn't tell if there's anything behind me. That event was really good. Oh my god, I cannot believe that Parry made a little detour just to come and see me. She wasn't even going to come to this event, she was invited. And as soon as she heard that I was going to be in Leeds, because like, I'll pop in for a little bit. She was literally here for like less than half an hour, but it was so, so nice to finally meet her. Then I saw Ashton, which you would have seen in my vlog earlier. I haven't seen her for two years. She organised a vlogger Halloween party in Birmingham that I went to. I met loads of lovely bloggers, which is really cool. And now, oh, we're so tired. We're going to get some food and actually check into our hotel. 
right? We haven't even we haven't even been there yet. And what time is it? Oh God, it's 20 to 9. Okay, we're gonna go check in. Hopefully it isn't too far from here. We're staying in the Jury's Inn. Let me show you. No ideas properly. Look at this, it's massive for like a city centre hotel. I thought that was two single beds. I was like, what? It's a double and a single, which is pretty cool. And check out this view, it's so nice. This view's so pretty. Ta -da! I'm resisting temptation to just collapse on the bed and lie down while I wait for Jas to get ready because I'm really tired, but I'm also a little bit hungry and there's loads of restaurants around here. The receptionist recommended an Italian and a tapas place and she said further along, oh, over that bridge actually, there's like a Pizza Express and like a few chain restaurants, but I don't want to go to one of those. So I think we might check out the menu at the tapas place because it's not often I have tapas. is this restaurant right we were just sat there and you can step out these double doors and you have this little deck area where you can just sit and like look at the view it's so adorable so nice oh my god this temperature is absolutely amazing here hello happy sunday it's about 1 p.m or maybe 1 30 now i woke up with a banging headache this morning I don't know what it is, I think it's probably because I'm dehydrated and my throat really hurts as well and I've been having loads of ice recently so that could be something to do with that. I have no idea. So we had breakfast in the hotel and then I came back and had a little nap. We managed to get a late checkout until 2 but we don't want to stay here until 2 o'clock because now we're heading to Manchester. The location of our hotel is pretty good actually, there's a Sainsbury's right next door so I've just popped there after we checked out to go pick up some paracetamol because for once in my life I don't have any in my handbag. I don't know how that happened. So fingers crossed, my headache goes um, by the time we get to Manchester. Look at how many different types of tofu there are here. That is crazy. Like, what even is that? Aubergine slice, I'm not the biggest fan in the world, but I just wanted to try it. You know, you got an apple. <laughs> of course, we both got an apple. Roll. <laughs> Ready? 
basically just spent our entire Sunday just eating and drinking and driving, haven't we Jess? Yep. We're now in a place called Love Thy Neighbour. Love Thy Neighbour. Um, it's like mostly vegan and vegetarian. It's very Instagrammable actually. The decor's really cool. Let me show you. So literally all we've done in Manchester is just go cafe hopping. <laughs> we had a really nice lunch at a place called Cantor and then we went for an iced coffee. It's a place called Love Thy Neighbour. Yep. It's mostly vegan but it isn't quite. So the iced coffee and now we're going back to another cafe because Nerev has just finished work. Nerev's Holly's boyfriend in case I haven't mentioned this before and um, he's hungry so we're going to go and sit with him while he eats and we're probably going to have cake or dessert or something. Mm. I think I'm going to go for a salted caramel espresso martini because I've already had an Aperol today. What do you think? What should I do? Aperol or espresso martini or salted caramel? Well, that's, that's that that brand is massive. Yeah. Ignore the state of me but oh my god it is so hot. It is Monday today and Jess is in the study working. Hello. Say hi Jess. Hi everyone. Good. Um, he woke up really early. I've been trying to work at the dining table, but the sun is on my back. I'm literally just sat there sweating away. I haven't done my makeup, I've had a shower, and I haven't put any product in my hair. But my grand's just come to tell me that there's a really like nice breeze by the front door, and I'm literally just sat here contemplating sitting on the floor with my back against the front door, like just here. Like literally just on the floor just here. Jas and I got back from Manchester quite late last night and I thought I was just gonna get straight into bed and crash but surprisingly by the time I got in and took my makeup off I was like hey I want to watch Love Island so we kind of did that. I didn't vlog much yesterday in Manchester because my sister Jas, her boyfriend and I literally just went cafe hopping. We went to a vegan seed market, the biggest one in the UK I think, which was really, really cool. Um, we went out for lunch, then we went out for an iced coffee. We walked around Shorten, which is a really cool area. It kind of reminds me a bit of like Shoreditch. She said it's quite up and coming, which is why there's like loads of like vegan restaurants and eateries and like just places that just do oat milk and soy milk and things like that. So it was really cool. I had a peanut butter brownie and a salted caramel espresso martini that was so good. Good. But we didn't leave Manchester till about half eight last night, so as you can imagine, it was about half ten, quarter to eleven by the time we got to Leicester. And I'm so glad that we decided not to go straight back to London because that would have been absolutely crazy. I'm just at my grand's today, oh, sweating away. Just is working from home. I'm trying to like not sweat. I'm gonna get some work done. I'm gonna pop out to the Chinese supermarket in a bit. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to the opticians with her, I think, because she wants some help choosing some frames. So I think I might go and do all of that in a bit. Hi Nish, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like your new office, your little desk. Who does that? Sits to the front door. <laughs> you don't understand, right? There's such a nice breeze on this side. And that side of the house is all hot and disgusting. So I was like... I can't believe you're the front door. Look. <laughs> Who does that? It's so nice and breezy. If I had like a desk, like a table or something, yeah. then I'd totally so just sit here. Oh, look at that, Jazz, it's actually <laughs> You're mad. Oh, bellissimo. 